I want to talk to you about Code AI. Um, and Code AI is this collection of projects that we have within Google and are beginning to release externally um, that's really accelerating every single aspect of our software engineering workflow. Google cares a lot about software engineering, so it's kind of in our DNA. Um, we've written books about it, um, but it's a particularly interesting research lab for software engineering because over the last 25 years, we've been capturing telemetry on everything that our developers and engineers do internally. Um, so if you encounter a bug, we know everything that you need to do in order to resolve it. We know all of the logs associated. We know all of the compute impact for running a piece of code. We know if you uh, kind of tried out a couple of different APIs and then settled on a different one. Um, we know if you looked up documentation, if you asked a chat message, if you uh, got a response back from a Q&A system, if you uh, sort of went to the micro kitchen to get a snack. Um, we know how every single one of those aspects of the developer workflow impact that final product. Um, and if you want to build an AI system that understands tools use, that understands function calling, that understands how to select different APIs or how to debug different aspects of a software engineering workflow, you have to have that fully detailed telemetry. Um, and like I said, 25 years worth, um, and we've been capturing it from, you know, from some of the, the brainiest engineers that I've ever worked with. Um, when you sum it all up, it ends up being just over 500,000 aggregate years of software engineering activity and over a trillion tokens um, of this really high impact data, including over 80 million high quality code review edits. So if you want to apply machine learning to code review, this is the only way that you would be able to do such a thing. Um, and what this means for developer productivity is kind of a lot, right? Like, so we're at the, you know, there are many talks today about how AI is accelerating software development, um, but we're really powering and coupling all of our Gemini model features with this rich multi-trillion token data set to enable lots of experiences for engineers um, other than just code generation. Um, it's from everything from designing to building to testing to maintaining to troubleshooting. Um, and this is a non-comprehensive list. Um, but I think many folks in the audience also realize that a lot of software engineering happens outside of the context of just your IDE. You know, you might have a design doc that's implemented in docs or as a markdown file. Um, you might have documentation that exists in an external source. You might have logs and telemetry that exist in other silos. You might have um, a lot of design discussion happening ad hoc in chat messages or emails or Slack conversations. Um, and really all of that tooling is part of this process that we have of building software. Um, it's not just what we're doing in VS Code or in our favorite editors. So code completion, obviously important. Um, now 26% of all of the code at Google is generated by machine learning. Um, I've, seen, uh, I've seen charts to the effect of, you know, for a given week, 50% of the code that gets checked in is generated by machine learning. Um, but it's not just this. Uh, you know, we are writing code faster, you know, that's accelerating that one small aspect of the developer workflow, about 6% of where they spend their time. But we're also accelerating code review. So as you check in code, you can automatically get reviews. If your reviewer has a request for you to deliver feedback, uh, you know, please, I have a knit. Um, I want you to change this variable name. I want you to use this API as opposed to this other one. Perhaps try to break apart this single function into multiple functions that are a little bit more modular. All of these feedback requests can be automatically applied by the engineer. So all you have to do is say like, yes, accept this machine learning edit and you're off to the races. No need to incorporate the reviewer feedback yourself. Um, we're applying it to code performance. So remember how I told you that we have logs as well as performance stats for everything that we've been, uh, all of the servers that we've been deploying the code to? Um, we also know uh, if you're writing a piece of code that perhaps is inefficient, like maybe you have nested for loops, or maybe you're looping over an array that's sorted instead of unsorted, um, and you could get the same, uh, the same output um, without having to go through that additional computation. Um, we have, with the ability of Gemini, um, to make recommendations for code so that it becomes more performant, more efficient, and when you scale this out to Google scale, um, single code changes made to C++ or Python code 
can realize tens of million dollars, hundreds of million dollars worth of savings. We're also working on code migrations. Um, so this is an example. You can uh, take a look at it if, you, if you're curious. Um, I, I added the link to our research blog and to our internal developer engineering blog. Um, we're working on software migrations such that you can take a code base and ask for changes to be made. So here's a code base. Here's um, you know, the new API spec. Please look through the code base and implement all of the changes that would be needed in order to implement this new API design. Um, we're also generating documentation at full code base scale, and not just in English. Um, so being able, uh, you know, imagine you're a new developer coming on a project. Um, how do you uh, kind of get familiarized with the history of the project? Why were design decisions made? Um, what is this piece of code actually doing? Um, you know, I used to work in the space sciences, and there was a lot of uh, COBOL code, um, sometimes there was Fortran code, and the person who had written it had retired easily, you know, 20 years ago. Um, so it was really challenging to find someone who could uh, kind of give insight into what the code was actually doing, and more importantly, which systems it impacted. Um, so this is uh, really powerful to me to be able to generate documentation automatically, um, especially as you introduce changes to the code, automatically propagating those to the documentation, um, but also being able to explain new code bases to engineers and to get them quickly up to speed. Um, this is an example using AI Studio. Um, if you haven't used AI Studio already, um, I uh, sort of upgraded, uh, uploaded two versions of the code base. Um, so Flax 0.7.5, and Flax 0.8.5. I asked for Gemini to create a blog post summarizing all of the changes, which it was able to do um, within the space of 30 seconds um, after ingesting all of the tokens for those code bases, over 750,000 tokens. Um, and it was also able to upgrade a tutorial that had been using Flax 0.7.5 to 0.8.5 with my company's best software engineering conventions. Um, you can also generate detailed friction logs from user videos. So user experience researchers, they often go through this path where um, they might sit with a user, ask them to test out a feature, record the entire painful process, um, and then afterwards meticulously document 30 minutes, an hour of video content of what a user is doing, where they ran into trouble, um, and how we might create better documentation or better product features in order to ease that pain over time. Um, Gemini is able to do this uh, kind of out of the box. Um, so you can uh, kind of generate the detailed friction logs from user videos. I'm gonna go over to the screen and click the play button just in case it didn't play by itself. There you go. Um, and all you have to do is say, hey, here's the video. Generate a detailed friction log. Um, and then give me a summary of which product features we might implement and prioritize them. Um, when you think about how much this could empower the entire UX space, it's huge. Um, usually these researchers are limited to just you know, 10 user sessions, perhaps 12 user sessions at a time. These studies take months because it takes so much um, 